Um, my Democrat colleagues suggest that when we criticize um, the uh, bias against conservatives that we're somehow working the refs. But the analogy of working the refs assumes that it's legitimate even to think of, of you as refs. Uh, it assumes that uh, you three Silicon Valley CEOs get to decide what political speech gets amplified or suppressed, and it assumes that you're the arbiters of truth, or at the very least, the publishers making editorial decisions about speech. So yes or no, um, I would ask this of each of the three of you, are the Democrats correct that you all are the legitimate referees over our political speech? Mr. Zuckerberg, are you the ref? Uh, Senator, Senator, I certainly uh, think not, and I do not want us to, to have that role. Mr. Dorsey, are you the ref? No. Mr. Pashai, are you the ref? Uh, Senator, I do think we make content moderation decisions, uh, but we are transparent about it, and we do it to protect users. But we really believe and support maximizing freedom of expression. I'll take that as, as three no's, and, and I agree with that. You are not the referees of our political speech. That's why all three of you have to be more transparent and fair with your content moderation policies and your content selection algorithms, because at the moment, it is, as I said, largely a black box. There is real mistrust among the American people about whether you're being fair or transparent. And this extends to concerns about the kinds of amplification and suppression decisions your platforms may make on election day and during the post-election period if the results of the election are too close to call. And so I just want to underscore again for my Democratic friends who keep using this really bad referee analogy, Google, Facebook, and Twitter are not the referees over our democracy. Now, second question, uh, the PACT Act, which I referenced earlier, includes provisions to give users due process and an explanation when content they post is removed. So this is, again, a yes or no question. Do you agree that users should be entitled to due process and an explanation when content they post has been taken down? Mr. Zuckerberg. Senator, I think that that would be a good principle to have. Thank you. Mr. Dorsey. Absolutely. We, we believe in a fair and straightforward appeals process. Great. Mr. Bashai? Uh, yes, Senator. Terrific. Thank you. Um, Mr. Zuckerberg, Mr. Dorsey, the, your platforms knowingly suppressed or limited the visibility of this New York Post article about the content on Hunter Biden's uh, abandoned laptop. Many in the country are justifiably concerned how often the suppression of major newspaper articles occurs online. Uh, and I would say, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, would you commit to provide for the record a complete list of newspaper articles that Facebook suppressed or limited the distribution of over the past five years, along with an explanation of why each article was suppressed or the distribution was limited? Uh, Senator, I can certainly follow up with, with you and your team to, to discuss that. Um, this was, we, we have an independent fact checking program, as you're, as you're saying. Um, you know, we try not to be arbiters of, of what is true ourselves, uh, but we have partnered with fact checkers uh, around the world to help um, assess that to prevent uh, misinformation and, and viral hoaxes from becoming widely distributed on our platform. And I believe that uh, the information that they fact check and the content that they fact check is public. So I think that there, there's probably already a record of this that can be reviewed. Yeah, and it, but if you could do that as it applies to newspapers, that would be very helpful. And Mr. Dorsey, would you commit to doing the same on behalf of Twitter? Uh, we would absolutely be open to it. And we, you know, we are suggesting going a step further, um, which is aligned with what you're introducing in the PACT Act, which is much more transparency around our process, the content moderation process, uh, and also the results, the outcomes, um, and doing that on a regular basis. I, I do agree and think that builds more accountability and ultimately that, that lends itself to more trust.